all right I am back again and uh, today it's single player I don't have anyone with me it's weekend it's Saturday so everyone is doing other stuff so today I will just do a little bit backfill and start making everything ready for excavation up here a little bit more behind this platform up here so we can make the same retaining wall on the backside here so I have to take this bush something away and a little bit more dirt so I have room and I will also know first of all start with a little bit backfill behind this retaining wall so Okay, so I got some gravel filled in the back, so we'll let the water go through, so it will be no frost in the back side, pushing the rocks out or anything. And I got uh, some access dirt bring it back that I was bringing away from here with the tractor earlier. And now I can use the bucket and just put this out. But first, I will try and excavate over here.
well, it's a bit more work to do this alone, but yeah, since it's Saturday and it's weekend and everyone is away for the weekend, it's just grinding on. But we got the first two rocks in, we are at the same height. I have a big rock I want to place at the cornerstone here, so I think that will be pretty great. And no, I just measured out that I need a rock that is about 28 centimeters. I don't have anything that is that big now, so I have to use the same as here. I have to double up to get to the next leg. And yeah, you can see the line here, the cornerstone. I have to, yeah, it, it's, it's not easy, but it looks like the corner will be a little bit bigger than we are going in here with the asphalt cant. <laughs> For the red, for the edge of the uh, tarmac here, so yeah, to see what we will do there. But yeah, I think this is a great start. Now it's just uh, find two more rocks that will give me 28 centimeters or something like that, and uh, yeah, then it's just uh, next one again. And, and when we get here, it will be a little bit more challenging because here we have the corner. As you can see, we have to figure out the corner here, and we have to hit almost at this so we have to adjust a little bit here but doing this alone is a little bit in and out in and out of the excavator so yeah but i'll manage All right, that took some time, but the rocks are in place. You can see the one uh, second from here, it's a little bulging out, but it is a retaining wall of natural stone, so it's not supposed to be super straight, but I try to make it as straight as possible, but here both the rock under and the rock over had the same curve, so I thought we'd just go with it. So the only thing I don't like, it's this room here, but I guess when we get another rock over there and everything and gravel in between and yeah it will look totally different so and no it's just filling up back here with uh, gravel and then we can lay the next rock uh, from top of this one and this way so then we are starting on the retaining wall for the corner here and hopefully I can find something that is so long that it goes all the way from here and back in the corner so the next rock going that way can lie on top on that one again so that would be the perfect thing. But as we can see, it's starting to get thin of rocks now. We have used a lot already over here. So 
there are some square meters with uh, retaining wall now. But it's going forward uh, as soon as the bottom is played and everything is in level and everything is just starting to uh, put the next rocks in and everything and now in the end you have to be creative but that's also why I built the long one first because then I can um, do this one that has shorter uh, lengths with different kind of rocks. That will be a little bit nicer I think. Here I got a big one. I can't get it in the grab, so I have to try and use the bobcat to move it. So let's see how that goes.
All right, check it out. The retaining wall is done. So it's been a couple of days since I filmed anything, or a couple of days, a couple of evenings since I filmed anything. Forgot my camera yesterday, so. But I got everything done. Now it's just the, the last part of backfilling and yeah, making everything look nice on top here. So I just got the tilt rotator back on and yeah, I'm ready for a start dragging everything out, making it somewhat level and yeah, putting some dirt on the back end and everything. So looking forward to that. Starting to look like something now. Nice slope down to the retaining wall, cleaned up a little bit in the street, and now it's just their driveway to clean up a little bit. And yeah, then I think we are done if we are not putting on some lawn dirt.
So today we are driving something else. I have borrowed this wheel loader to just load the lawn dirt and everything over the retaining wall. So yeah, this is the same company that I buy the lawn dirt from. So you can see here that I have a big pile of lawn dirt and uh, it's the best in the town. So let's uh, bring a bucket and uh, load it and then we will go for uh, putting it over the retaining wall. It's just down the street so it's no problem taking everything with the wheel loader there. So here we are right down the street from where we are getting the lawn dirt and uh, yeah, it's a uh, nice wheel loader to drive actually, really nice. Uh, there is some kind of function that you don't have to use the wheel also, but who knows how to activate it. So we just do it as simple as possible. And here are the retaining wall and uh, yeah, and we are ready to start uh, spreading the lawn dirt over the retaining wall or over the lawn that the retaining wall is at. And, uh, let's see if we can make this happen as smooth as possible. reasons for using the wheel loader is that I, I will get a lot more reach with it in. I could use my tractor but uh, that wouldn't give me the reach that I need to put everything up here. Let's see. There the wheel are almost touching. bit more up there. So we can drag a little bit up the hill and take a little bit down. Nice with the backup camera. As this street has a lot of kids. So, there the lawn dirt is in place. Let's see if we can use the excavator and push it a little bit up. Get it a little bit more up where we also removed some dirt. 
so we don't have to drag everything by hand up there. There it is, finished with the lawn dirt on and everything and it's looking really good so I'm really happy with this one. I think it's turned out really great. So we have this little corner here where they can have the, their garbage bin and everything and these two big ones with the big plates on top here also really great and uh, yeah it's just a total different view with the lawn dirt on and everything looks so much better imagine this green So I think I will go back sometime and uh, when they have got the green grass and everything and take some more pictures and maybe some video for you guys. So that's it. I'm really happy with this one. Turned out really great.